Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about simplifying the launch procedure of your stick shift car. Um, specifically the two-step and how that interacts with your clutch pedal and uh, anything else you might have going on. So uh, we're gonna call this the the three pedals, the three pedal two-step. I don't think it's got a name. I, it's been around. I think people have done this sort of thing for years, but um, it's not that that readily available to find. So I did this thing and it did, it did help the situation, made things, simplified things. So uh, let's have a look at it in action before we actually go into the details of building it. So you understand why we're, why we're talking about it and what the value of it is. So we'll get to it. I've got it mocked up here on this transmission on the bench. We've got this T56 mocked up here on the bench. Um, so the main components of this contraption are this switch that's mounted here that the clutch fork can hit. That's, that completes your ground circuit, which we'll get into later. We've got this LED, which is just an indicator. That's the equivalent of your two-step. You can also keep that, you can use that in parallel on your actual install so that you have an indicator of, of your two-step being engaged. Um, we got this little tiny momentary switch, but generally this would probably be on your shifter or you could use any, any kind of momentary switch mounted in your car. That you want to use. Um, it's just one I had laying around. 12 volt relay here and a few wires. So we're going to demonstrate how this works. You're going to roll into the staging beams. You're going to push your clutch in. You're going to touch the, your momentary switch once. At that point your two steps engaged. Hands free. You don't have to do anything else with your hands. Uh, staging, staging beams are lit. Christmas tree comes down, you let out on the clutch, thereby releasing the ground circuit and releasing your two-step. From then on, you run down the track, no more two-step engagement until you push the clutch in and hit that button. So it takes, um, takes your hands out of the process. It's one less thing you have to worry about, one, one less thing you have to think about when you're staging. And to me, that's valuable. So that's the basics of how it works. Now we'll get into the components that you need to make it happen. So this is the switch. I bought this one on Amazon for about 20 bucks. Uh, you can see that it's got quite a bit more travel than your average little micro switch, um, which is a good thing. So this one came from Amazon. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description. The one that's on the transmission, um, I bought that one on eBay. That one is an Omron brand, which is pretty pretty heavy duty. Um, it's a pretty pretty known brand. Uh, it's been on the car for several years, so I'm confident in the durability of that one. This one I cannot say that for sure, but it would probably be just fine. Um, they're basically the same switch though, and it's just a difference in price, how much you wanna spend. Um, Obviously, you have to make a bracket that will work for you to mount it where you need it. So that's the clutch switch. Um, it comes with more wires than you need. Basically, you'll find two of these wires and uh, put a meter on it and figure out which wires are connected when you have the switch engaged. So um, I can go into more detail on that if anybody needs that, but basically... Like I said, you'll need two of these wires. All you're trying to do is complete that circuit. Um, you figure out which two wires to do that, and you're good to go. 12 volt relay, just your standard little 12 volt relay. I mean, that's all it is. Uh, I think I bought five of these on Amazon for 15 bucks or something with the pigtails. So uh, you don't need anything specific. It's like I said, it's your standard little thing. Um, we'll go into the wiring of it because that's obviously critical, but as far as a relay, 12 volt automatic relay. Back to the transmission. Um, if you choose to implement the LED, you just, you can get, you can get these all over the place. I don't know where this one came from. So that's that. The only other component really that is required for this is a bracket and this bolt. So, um, you may not even be able to do this, but on mine, I've got this bolt that's used as an adjustment. I can thread it in and out 
to engage the switch where it makes the most sense. Um, when you put a meter on this, you, I, you'll see where the switch engages. So um, you can adjust that to fine tune. You can also, um, you can move this arm on the splines if you choose to. Uh, it's not a, not a hard thing. You just loosen that bolt and move it. So yeah, you'll have to fashion a bracket here um, that suits your needs. And that's gonna be specific to your car. But that, that's all the components and that's basically it. Um, the only thing left to just discuss is the, the wiring of the relay. So uh, we'll get into that. This diagram represents the relay and the wiring involved. Uh, the black box is your relay on the picture. Pin 30 is your primary 12 volt power source that feeds the relay. Uh, the second line down, pin 85, that's your trigger wire um, on the relay uh, it, and it incorporates the momentary switch. You'll also notice that pin 85 jumps over to pin 87 on the relay. That's what uh, creates the latching behavior and keeps the relay engaged after you've released the momentary switch. Uh, pin 86 is the chassis ground, but that feeds through your clutch switch. So keep in mind, you your relay doesn't have a ground until you push the clutch in, which again, that's, that's the other part of the magic as to how this whole thing works together. Pin 87, that's 12 volt um, out from your relay that goes to your two-step to trigger that. Uh, in this case, this diagram, and it also feeds the LED, which is optional, but it's nice to have. If uh, you just as reassurance when you're staging, you can look down and you know if that LED is lit, that your two-step is engaged. So that's pretty much everything. I uh, hope I explained that okay. If there's any problems you're having, just leave me something in the comments, and I'll try to clarify. So guys, that's all there is to it, three pedal, the three pedal two step. Again, not a new country dance. This is the answer to all your stick shift prayers. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. If you got any other additional ideas, um, throw them in the comments. I did wanna, wanna say that if you, if you wanna implement a line lock with this, you can do that. You need uh, another momentary switch, a diode, and another relay and probably a little project box to put it in at that point because it's starting to get kind of kind of big and uh, it's just easier to have like a little self-contained box that has all this. It's pretty easy to do though and if that's inter interesting to you, please uh, put something in the comments and I'll put a video together to show you how to make that work too. So please like and subscribe and thanks for your time.